Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we are doing the 10 hidden features for the Honor 6X. Now, we will do all 10 of them together. If some are really good and really popular, we'll actually split those up into individual videos. So, make sure to stay tuned, get your Honor 6X ready, and find out the best 10 hidden features on this really good phone for a really good price. Now for the first hidden feature, it's definitely an important one, although it's only semi-hidden. It is the more settings for your home screen. Now most people just pinch to zoom on a home screen in order to do widgets or wallpapers, but with this phone, you can actually take it one step further and go to more settings. And this has two really big important ones in my opinion, and that is rotate, auto rotate, as well as home screen loop. You also have some fun ones like shake and auto align, uh, or even a uh, home layout, designing the actual layout of how many apps you want in a row. But with this, I can allow myself to always loop, which I have to have on my Android phone, so I love that feature, as well as rotate the actual home screen. Again, this does not come default outside of the box, but it's a really helpful uh, feature that you can unlock once you find this hidden area. Now the next hidden feature I honestly wish was on a lot more smartphones. Have you ever sent a messenger and you're like, oh my god, wait, I meant to do this, or I meant to say this, or damn you, autocorrect? Well, with the Honor 6X, you can actually hit the message button, and in menu, you can actually have these settings enable cancel send which means you have four seconds after you send the message to double tap the message and then cancel it. So as soon as you double tap it, it will cancel the message, not send it, and stop you from that embarrassing one. Four seconds isn't a lot of time granted, but it still definitely can help you out in that tight pinch. Now for the next hidden feature, we're going to go into the settings menu and right here at the bottom of the first part of the screen, notification panel and status bar. And this one is called drag actions. Now, this kind of sounds weird, but you have different type of actions depending on what side of the screen you want to go on. See, if I swipe down here, I actually have shortcuts or notifications. And by default, how this works is if you have notifications, it will go here by default first. And if you don't have notifications, it will go by here. But what if you want to know what you're doing? Well, then you can actually determine the drag position. So you can actually go left for notifications or right for shortcuts. So you can choose which way you prefer. Uh, the smart selection does by default, no notifications, goes to widgets uh, over here or shortcuts rather. And you have on the left side notifications but I kind of like the determining one kind of so you always know which one you're getting but it's up to you if you like it to be more automatic or more manual but this gives you the option. Now for our next step it is under the smart assistance which is in the settings portion and this is customizing the navigation bar. So most phones don't let you do this but there are a few phones out there that really do and we love them for it. It's something that the Honor has definitely been known for and that is customizing the navigation bar on the bottom. So for me, I am very much so uh, used to a certain style of my uh, screens. I actually like the screen layout to be like this. So multi back, or sorry, home and back. That's how I like it. However, uh, stock Android has this, back, home, and multi, so it depends on how you like it. But not only that, you can customize which way you like it, but then you can also customize it with this, meaning you can have a next part for opening your navigation panel, so I can just tap this, I don't need to reach to the top, and I can always pull down the navigation. So I really like that, just because you can completely customize it make it simple and easy to use the way you like it to be. So really simple and easy, and I love the customization that Honor allows you to do if you know where to look. Now this next part can definitely help you out with your battery life and to make sure you don't accidentally call anyone. It's under the Smart Assistant, and it is Touch Disable Mode. 
Now touch disable mode, what this does, it's at the bottom over here and it makes sure that when it, the phone is in your pocket and basically realizes that there's no surrounding light inside of uh, going towards it with the sensors up at the top, then it knows, hey, let's not turn the screen on if he accidentally presses it in any way, shape or form. This is really important, of course, because it makes sure that your phone screen isn't constantly being hit on while it's in your pocket or in your purse. And of course, you have the ability to make sure that you're not actually dialing someone or anything along those lines. It's a really important feature. Very few phones have it. The Honor does. And again, as long as you know where to look for it. Now, our next feature is in a different portion in the settings menu, and that is under advanced settings, and this is the storage cleaner. So, we're first going to start off by hitting the advanced settings portion right here, and then we're going to go to memory and storage. Once we're here, what you're going to do is you're going to hit storage cleaner. What this will help do is clear certain things that aren't really necessary anymore, especially things like cache data that can build up over time if you never cleaned it up and definitely take up up to gigs of your storage. So for instance, it's found a lot of stuff that I don't really need or use or cache that I might not need anymore. It's just taking up memory. This is right now taking up 103 megabytes. The fact that it's that much when this is a brand new phone definitely tells me something. So I'm gonna hit this. It's gonna clean it all nice and up and that's gonna maximize my storage. It is a great feature to have a storage cleaner just built into your phone, no third-party apps, just all the goodness that comes with it. So really great feature, definitely a feature that I really like. Now for this next feature, you might not really know to look for it, but for this phone, for the Honor phone, you're really gonna have a great addition in the phone manager, but sometimes you just want to get to a specific part of that app. So when you open up the phone manager, this is what you have. However, sometimes you just want to go specifically to one portion and don't want to launch the entire thing every time. So to do that, you're going to go into settings and tap shortcuts. What this will allow you to do is have one of these right on the front of your home screen. So say if you want to um, often use, for